Hello everyone, it's Michelle, and on this Arc Genesis video, I'm going to be showing you how to tame the Ferox, the creature that I'm writing right here. Alright, so there's a couple of different ways that you can actually tame the Ferox. One way that's recommended that shows you in the Arc Wiki is how to tame it with Element, and that's what I'm going to be showing you first. The other ways that you can tame the Ferox is by tranking it and using either Major Berries or Plant Y Species Seeds. So you can do this in either way that you want to go ahead and tame this. I'm going to be showing you two different ways on how to tame the Ferox. Alright, so let's go ahead and get started. Now before we jump into taming the Ferox, there's a couple of things that you will need equipped with you to tame these, these creatures. So let's go into my inventory and I'm going to show you exactly what I have. I have a full set of fur armor equipped on me right now. And you can see that I still have the little cold icon in the bottom right hand corner. I also have a second set of fur armor in case things go bad. I have 20 grappling hooks. I have 100 shotgun, simple shotgun shells. And I have a journeyman shotgun right here. Um, I also have two crossbows. I have a GPS and a compass to show you my coordinates. All right, so let's go to this cave where there's a bunch of ferox located as well. From here, you just go up the hill. Up and over. And there we go. And the entrance for the cave that has a bunch of the ferox, the little fluffy creatures, is 70.7 by 26.1. And if you're curious, I got the GPS coordinates from Nooblitz. So if you want to give him credit, please go to his channel and give him credit for this. I'm definitely giving him credit for finding this cave with all the ferox. That was an excellent find. All right, so let's go into the cave and let's go get started. All right, I'm going to go ahead and grab up my grappling hook. And when you go in this cave, you need to be careful because there are bears and there are wolves and there are ferox that will spawn in this cave. I'm going to quickly grapple over here. And I'm going to go ahead and shotgun these bears. And this is why I have the shotgun. Alright, they're starting to run away right now. But I'm going to hold my ground. And as you can see, the bears are high level. If I was down on the ground, I would definitely be dead by now. They took one swipe at me, and you can see that I'm already three quarters health. There we go, and that's all the bears killed. Now there's a ferox there, but again, with the ferox you need to be careful. Raised myself back up. There was another bear hiding. He took a swipe out of me. There we go. And there's another bear there. Alright. So now that the bears are dead, I'm going to go into my inventory and I'm going to take the six element that I have and I'm going to put it on my zero slot right there. Okay, so you can go further in the cave if you want and there's actually a big open area that I'll show you in just a moment. But first things first, we have ferox that are in here right now. So I'm going to quickly do this just to give you guys an idea. I'm going to quickly feed it element but then I'm going to grapple to the ceiling and you'll see why. 
because although this is a passive team, it is also considered an aggressive team. So I'm just going to find the little guy that I want to tame. There's one right... there's two of them, okay. I'm going to try to feed the lower level one because I'm just trying to get one Ferox tamed. That's my goal. I'm just going to quickly scope around, make sure there's nothing else. Okay. Alright, so this one's coming towards me. And I'm going to quickly go ahead... Oh, it's getting aggressive. Climb up. And you see how it got aggressive right there? With me just going near it? Sometimes that can happen. Sometimes when you go up to the Ferox, it will just naturally get aggressive. And that's when you need to be out of range. So go ahead and just grapple to something near. And unfortunately, there's nothing else you can do other than wait for it to get unangry again. So we're going to let him just do his little rage right there. And then eventually he will go back into his passive form as a little cute creature that he is. And there he is. Okay. So we're going to go down. Press right mouse button. C to disconnect. And we're going to quickly... Um, not taming. E to use it. Zero. There we go. Let's get out of here quick. I pressed a zero on him. So I pressed a zero on the Ferox. I pressed a zero on him. And that's how you feed him. You have to press the corresponding key. Uh oh, he's running outside. Okay, well, I'm gonna lower myself. I don't want him running away. I've tamed him! Come here, buddy! So he only took one element. Okay. And it, if you look down at him, it says addiction, 5% addiction. You can actually pick this up too. So let's go ahead and pick up this little Ferox. Alright, I'm tempted to actually go and tame another one. Let me show you um, what the actual creature is like, and then I'll do a quick little tame on the other one. Alright, let's go back to base, and we're going to show you how this creature works. Right, so it's health stats. Let's look at this. Wow, 77.1 by 150 stamina, weight is 58, and damage is 169. So it changed quite a bit in its other form. I'm going to go ahead and pick this up because it seems very vulnerable right now. So it's just going to be my shoulder pet for right now. Alright guys, and let's go ahead and carry on with another tame. Alright. Now let's go ahead and tame it the second way, which is with Trank Dart. So if you look on my hotbar, on my fourth slot here, I have a long neck rifle with some Trank Darts. And if you look at my inventory as well, I also have some major berries on my hotbar. I have a spyglass too, just to scope out some of the little Ferox that are roaming around. I also have some element just in case, and I have some wide plant seeds as well too, which is another way you can tame them. I'm going to be using major berries though, which is the most universal kind of berry that people can use or find in game. I still have my grappling hooks, and I also have my shotgun shells as well too. So let's go ahead and let's go into the cave and tame a ferox the second way. Alright, so the bears have spawned back. I want to go ahead and show you the other location. So I'm going to grab a hook over here. Alright, so this bear is dead. And I want to show you the other location that I told you guys about. I'm going to press C to disconnect. And I'm just going to quickly show you this area, but I'm going to tame the Ferox in the other location because that's where they're located right now. 
but if you didn't see any ferox you can come even further down into the cave and you get a big open area like this but again there's lots of bears so I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna kill these real quick and then I'm gonna go ahead and tame the other one in the other area But the ferox do spawn in this area, so you can tame them here. Alright, let's go back. There's a little guy there. I'm gonna grapple to the ceiling. He's gonna transform. gonna get angry. He's gonna chase around for a bit. I'm gonna wait until he goes back into his little form and then I'm gonna start trinking him. Alright, so now that it's calmed down a bit, I can go ahead and I can start trinking it. just want to quickly take a look at the levels right here. It's a little bit hard. I'm just gonna go ahead and switch to my, my little trink darts here. Wait till one comes up to me. There he is. Oh my gosh, level 145. Alright, trained him once. Twice. Three times. Alright, he's out. I may have hit him too many times. Alright. F to access the inventory. I'm going to go ahead and put major berries in, and he already ate one. And you can see that it did a quarter of the actual taming right there. Now its torpidity is going down a little bit, but the taming, I'm on a times 4 server, the taming is going up, so I will not need any more, any more actual narcotic, even though I have a few narcotic on me right now. It also takes Y plant seeds. Let's see which one it actually takes first. I think it took the major berry over the Y seed. And there we go. There's my level 145 Ferox tamed and it put it to level 216. We can go ahead and pick it up. But the same thing, guys, that I noticed with the other Ferox, you can only put it in its other form with element. So let's go ahead and press F to drop it off. And if you go up to it right now, if I take the major berries out of it, and if I take the Y plant seeds out of it, you know, when you have the major berries on your hotbar, on the zero hotbar, and you press zero, you yourself just eat it. And the same thing goes with the Y plant seeds. You press zero on that as well, and nothing happens. But the moment that you have element on your zero hotbar, and you go up to your ferox and press zero, it will immediately transform it into the big creature that you know. And there's our fluffy little guy right there. And the stats from that one between level 20 is much, much higher. Oh my goodness, 584 damage. This thing is an absolute tank. And stamina is quite good as well, too. Even health is as well. Alright, guys. And that is how you tame the Ferox in Arc Genesis in the Arctic biome. Thank you very much for watching, and I shall see you next time. And thank you again to Nooblets, who told me about the coordinates for this cave. See you guys.